Gloria Swansong rested her head on one hand. She was wearing a new dress, new shoes, new jewels, the most modern styles of hair and makeup. She was impossibly composed, delicately perfumed, and nearly seethed elegance. She wondered how many of them were actually fooled. She was gripped by a sudden image of herself as a living marble statue, cracked through and through. That awful business with the director was a crack. Her medical history, a crack. Her depression, a crack. Those awful predatory eyes of Clarence, a crack. And the lies she told her family about acting, the final deepest crack. She closed her eyes and swayed slightly in time with the music. She remembered sunny days in California. Decent, deep conversations with good-looking people. She moved through that world like... Well, like a statue in a beautiful garden. And now she was cracked through, nearly cut off from it. The least and the lost, even among her awful, vulgar family of this awful plantation. There was a storm blowing through tonight, she knew it. And she knew that if she slipped even a little, she would fall and shatter. But, she thought, if she could stand, if she could balance, she just might be the last standing. It would be the others who shattered. A strange light shone in her eyes as the Victrola hissed the end of the song.